All right, guys, I'm making this video live at the scene, so I don't know how the audio is going to be on this thing. But uh, this is Howard Street, as you guys can see. Uh, matter of fact, let me get a view from up here. Uh, okay, so there was just a five-year-old killed um, right, I believe, at that spot right there. I'm going to zoom the camera on a little bit. I'm gonna. This is live, uncut, unedited, so I'm going to upload this video just as I make it at the scene. That currency exchange right there is a real hot spot. This is a, a gang territory right here. Now, I don't know if it was gang-related before I say anything else. I don't know if the homicide of the child was gang-related. I know his father was also hurt. He was five years old. Rest in peace to that boy. I know his uh, his nickname was Boom. Five-year-old. Um, man, uh, I, I was reading some of the comments on online and stuff about him. And, you know, he seemed to be like a really sweet, nice boy. But that spot... Uh, right there is real high. I'm gonna get off the uh, Ellen go down there though To show you guys where it took place It was right by Howard and Polina. They said that was where it was at but He was not killed at the scene. He um He died three days later. He was actually shot on August 28th was what the report said um, and hopefully that time is accurate, but uh, this is a spot you guys have seen in a lot of videos of mine, man. So we're going to get out right here. Howard Street. I hope the audio is okay on this video. I'll check it out. Yeah, so this is Howard Street right here, man. And as you can see, that's Polina. This is where it took place right here. That uh, currency exchange is a real hot spot community meeting going on right there this is east rogers park right here this is uh this spot is hot real hot yeah this is a real hot area there's been a lot of people killed at this spot right here man so uh, i gotta be kind of smooth, smooth around here i've done a couple interviews of guys around here back in the day yeah rest in peace too i think his name i think the five-year-old's name was Devin. Rest in peace to Devin. This is, um, I don't want to like say too much about the gang stuff because I don't know if it was gang related. And I'm pretty, I'm 99% that the gang that's here was not responsible. This is the Jungle Lokes over here. There's a few gangs off Howard Street. You got ABM, I mean, uh, not ABM, uh, th that's farther away. You got, um, IBM, Insane Black Mafia is like some ways away, someplace else. Uh, but then. You got a bunch of others, man. You got a bunch of others. I hope you guys can hear me okay on this because I know the wind is blowing. And I kind of got my mask on. Like, Yeah, this spot right here is real hot. Rest in peace to that five-year-old man. Be smooth if you guys are around here. Uh, I don't see any police here right now, which is interesting. I don't know why that's... Uh, I know... They were, you know, doing the investigation on this, but the the youngster just died. The incident took place three days ago. So rest in peace to Devin, man. This spot's been uh, real hot lately, man. Rogers Park's been going up. There was a robbery. The one I'm probably going to cover in another video, there was an incident. Um, it took place a couple weeks ago where there was, like, uh, a lot of gunfire and somebody was killed. That was a robbery gone bad. That was not, like, gang-related stuff. But, uh... I think it was a grocery store up here. And I'm just showing you guys around the area a little bit. This is at the far north end of the city off the red line. This is the area where you switch to the other uh, public transportation lines. It's a big public transportation hub. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, people intersecting over here. This, uh, the gangs that live in this area don't go, um, some of them, like to the nearest high school. The nearest high school by here is Sullivan High School. That's the high school where I had my first. Uh, my first like real permanent job. That's the PBG high school. PBG is it beefs with the gang that's on this block They don't get along. They're both GDs But they do not get along Okay, and they've never really gotten along So I'll show you guys a little more of the area Before I uh, Before I sign off here, man This is a big shopping area uh, One sec arm getting tired this is a big shopping area over here this video is live at the scene so excuse any burping farting anything i do because this is live uncut unedited 
Uh, yeah, one second. Definitely gotta have this mask up. I'm not, uh, I'm not putting the camera on them, but there's some dudes right over there. I think are, they definitely look like they're with it. So we ain't gonna put the camera on them. We definitely ain't gonna put the camera on them. Yeah, this is like a big shopping spot right here. They said they don't know you. They said they don't know you. They said they don't know you. And, uh... Who was that, Kevin? No, it's James. I don't know him. There's a lot of drug dealing that goes on around here. I did a video, uh, years ago about a group called CME, Chasing Money Entertainment. Those are, like, the older guys. Um, but they, they did a video, like... Just showing the block at night, like how it busts at night. This is a different place, man. This is definitely a different place. But this has calmed down a lot over the years, though. But it's still, it's still turned up. This is a uh, spot where a lot of those PVD members have like made videos coming through, just walking through, you know, showing that they can walk through this place. But that makes them a target. And then these little kids get hit. There's been a lot of neutrons killed around here, man. So many neutrons, bro. I made that video about that guy Shane Colombo. He was killed just up that block right there, saying at the bus stop. He just got here from California. Didn't know what was going on. Oh, I don't know if he knew what was going on or not, but he's standing at the bus stop, ready to go up to Evanston where he was going to go to college. Boom! He got caught in, in a gang crossfire. At least that's what I heard. That was the word on the street. And they arrested a guy in the murder, uh, a guy from. Well, I ain't gonna go too much into that, man. That was that was another video on the other channel. But uh, some dudes got at me about that video. Not from his gang, but from another gang that I talked about in that video. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep this on topic. So yeah, man, this uh, this is an area where like a lot of ops can meet up. That's why you gotta be smooth around here. It's not that the gang around here is foul, because they're not. Loke City is cool, man. Like, they're pretty... They pretty much play by the book. They got a lot of big homies, you know, that uh, kind of make them stick to the rules and do things the old school way. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of guys that meet up over here, man. And then, you know, when guys meet up, they see each other, they just start blowing. They don't even... Civilians in the way. Old bit. And that's why so many neutrons get killed around here. It just goes down straight up. So, I'm not sure if that's what that little kid was. But if you're a civilian in this area, just know that. Just know that. So I'm going to sign off, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is your boy, Winnie City Report. I am out.